Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Ham Ham Heartbreak. You may notice that I'm wearing the same shirt and do look exactly the same as last week's. It's because I'm not trying to keep up appearances. It's the same day. I'm making the video ahead of time so that stuff doesn't get crazy. For the sake of making this look more like a walkthrough, I'm going to go ahead and get this last ham chat I have to get from Funland before I head back to Wildwoods. Uh, yeah. So I got good go. It means good luck. Knowing how arbitrary this game is, I'm gonna need it later. So, just went ahead and got that. Yay. I can go to Wild Woods and the real fun will begin. Bye, Lame Land. Time is now. Alright. I have to go to... Bog, I believe is his name, and he has to team up with me. Now, I thought I already had Ham team, but I didn't, so there must be two that are really similar. We're chasing a hamster wearing an acorn cap. That hat was stolen from another hamster named Cedric. Thieves bad, Bog mad at woods, peace breakers. Um, the one who stole it spat. Thief, Bog no forgive. Good, we need you to ham team. Alright, cool. So now I gotta get Cappy. And I gotta be like, listen, Cappy, here's the deal. You need to come with us. Just right quick. Where is he? Where's Cappy? Oh, there he is. Here we go. Got him. I think it's kind of funny that we just had to literally trap Cappy. Like, how old is he? Come on. Catched bad hamster. Bog super. Sorry. Bog, you are super. Now give us the hat. The owner of the hat is Bluehoo? That's right. He's been Bluehoo ever since Spat stole his acorn cap. It's true. We just want to return it to the rightful owner. Um, I guess you're right. I'd cry too if I lost a hat as cool as this one. I'll give it back. But say, what's he like? Dingbat, would you take me to meet this hamster? Sure, come with us. Yeah, that's fine. Bog, Cappy's gonna return the hat. Please let him out of the cage. Bog, do it for friend. Thanks, Bog. Let's go. Thank you, Bog. Bog, do good. Aha! Let's get going. Oh, good. I didn't need to do all of the trap. My name is Cappy. When I heard that this was your most loved of hat, I simply had to bring it back. That's not what happened. Great. Did you find this just for me? Without this, I'm at a loss. Anyway, thanks, oodles and noodles. I'll never forget what you've done. Cappy didn't do anything. Good. He's the one who... Mm. I'm glad I did what you asked me to do, dingbat. I'm glad I could make a fellow hat lover so happy. What? Um, you, um, like, like, hats too? I love hats. How do you think I knew just how much you love this acorn cap? I think there's someone else who truly appreciates a cap. I'm so surprised. His name is literally Cappy. Hammery. That's the best pun I've seen in the game. All other ham chat can go home because they're not as good as that ham chat. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're gonna be besties now. We're hats. But the amount of loves I have rescued at this point. I must be very close to being this game. And I cannot say I'm sad about it at all. <laughs> I'm so done. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? I probably have to- Oh, frick. 
I don't need this. I've already heard this stupid speech 20,000 times. Oh my gosh. Let me leave. Uh... Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Wildwoods and... Wait. But he, he said something about an egg in a spring. And so I'm gonna go up here and potentially there could be something that I have to collect in this spring. But I don't know. I'm probably just... Oh my gosh. I'm probably not actually gonna find anything. I'm just... I know the way this game works. Usually, so... Is there anything here? Oh, I did! I found a hot spring egg! Yes! I'm so good at Hamtaro right now. Alright, he picked up something and I want to know what it is. Whoa, you've opened my eyes to a whole new world of headgear, Cappy. Okay. Need me a hat buddy. Anybody out there? Big fan of hats. Let's start a hat club. Cap club. Oh my gosh. I'm done. Because I just... The alliteration is perfect. The idea is perfect. Everything about cap club is perfect. And it's gonna happen. And... Don't talk to me unless you want to be in Cap Club. Let's be real. Hey, we got something for you. What that? It's a hot spring egg. Bog want. We got it for you. That's right. You give. You know why. Bog happy. Take good care. Bog dream come true. Bog say thank you. Bog teach special skill. Watch and remember. I'm gonna learn how to climb, right? Thank god. Clingy! Okay. Nice! Let's do it to get the musician. Okay, here we go. This is extremely irrelevant, but when I was little, I was in a play, and this play was called Sanders Family Christmas. And let me tell you about Sanders Family Christmas a little bit. So this play was, uh, it took place at like a church and they were doing a Christmas ceremony and they get snowed in and I, I think. Anyway, there's this song that they do. I'm sorry, I love this guy. Okay. I love you. Hamha. That's not right, it's Dingbat, not Hammerhead. Jingle, what you doing? Dude, everyone is waiting for you for this wedding to start. Okay, so back to Sanders Family Christmas. There's a song in it called Nose to Nose, and for some reason it just like popped into my head, and I feel like it's, it's a, uh, something that I think hamsters could relate to. Except for that it's like a Christmas song. Um, anyway, I don't think that the creators of Sanders Family Christmas are probably too particularly worried about copyright because it's Sanders Family Christmas. So I'll just, I'll just render you a little bit of it, uh, as I head toward the wedding. I can't think of how any of the beginning of it went, but in the course it was like, Nose to nose, nose to nose, that's Merry Christmas to the Eskimos. I don't know if that, I don't know. But in the show, 
my sister was in it and my grandpa was also in it and everyone in the production during the song would like do this and like rub noses with each other and it got to the part where my grandpa was supposed to like rub noses with my sister his character he wasn't like my grandpa in the show and right then there's like a power outage or something and so everything shut off but that was like part of the play like I'm, I don't mean in the building and the lights just go off and they're like nose to nose nose to nose and just my grandpa's voice thank the lord <laughs> because he didn't have to rub noses with my sister's character and i was just kind of like okay <laughs> that's kind of random it's like they're related i don't know why <gasps> spat oh my gosh he's gonna ruin this wedding that stinker spat love is so undesirable stop Oh, now they're mad at each other. The red marble, that guy's so mean, and so it has come to pass, a legend born so many generations ago. A wicked one will appear and steal the red marble, plunging in all into deep sorrow. Nasty legend, that. And this has turned into a rotten mess. How awful, we need to go and get the red marble back. And with this revelation of a prophecy coming true, I will end this week's episode of Ham Ham Heartbreak. What will happen next? I don't know. It's crazy. There's suspense everywhere. What random play will I talk about next week? I don't... Ugh, that's what... I know that's really what's eating away at you guys. So, if you like this video, like this video. You can subscribe to my channel to see more. I make new Hamtaro videos every single week, or at least I try to. I'm getting back on track right now by recording a bunch in succession and scheduling them. Uh, which might be cheating, but hey, whatever works, works. I have time right now, so... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.